Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I found a new way to use the clone tool this morning, and it's pretty cool. Yesterday I was playing around with this, making two point lines and actually making them kind of like draw symmetrically. And so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna to go to edit and clone this guy. And I'm gonna move that over. And this is our clone curve. This is our control curve. Ironically, I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and put it right on top of each other. But then I'm gonna mirror it horizontally. Now I'm gonna take my shape tool, click on my clone, right click and turn it into a curve. And then watch this. Look at that. It's spreading out the two lines that are actually touching into a shape that is pretty cool. I mean, you could do a lot with this. You could turn this into a cusp by right clicking and then that way it only does one handle. There's a lot you could do with this. I think I'm gonna start using this quite a bit because it's cool because it's already touching. I mean, I did this one earlier and you don't have to have them touching. You know, if we take that line, go to edit and clone it and then move it out of the way. And this is our clone curve. So this one, I'm gonna make a duplicate of it and put it here and then take my control curve and get the shape tool right click on it and change it into a curve. So these aren't touching, but they're reacting the same. So you could do another thing by taking this line and mirroring it horizontally, take your shape tool back. And now you're making a vase type deal, but they're, this is so much cooler to go ahead and have them start touching. Uh, I mean, there's some other, properties you could use on this uh, without it touching. You know, you could draw some really, well, let's take that for instance. Now let's take it all, go up to object and break it apart, get rid of our clone or our control curve. Take this and make it something more than a hairline. Ah, I'm drawing so big. Let's go make it a 75 points. And then object, convert the outline to an object, left click, right click, weld it, and you have a starting of something else. So think about it next time you're doing a clone, how you could use that. Now stay tuned for part two, and I'm gonna make this with that same process. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.